we are celebrating our campus officially going tobacco and smoke free. What does that mean? So what that means is that the hospital itself has always, of course, been tobacco free. So there's never been any smoking of any sorts, including vaping inside of our facility. But now we are extending that to our entire campus. So that includes our parking lots. It includes the fields that surround the hospital as well as the sidewalks. So it means that as of today, we're asking anybody who comes to visit our campus, whether they're a patient, a visitor, an employee, vendors, anybody, that um, they extinguish any of their cigarettes or refrain from vaping, chewing tobacco, those sorts of things while they're on our property. You have an ashtray still outside. We do. You know, we don't, we realize that some people, especially during this transitional time, are going to be in their cars smoking a cigarette, and we want them to have a place to extinguish that. So we, there are signs on the trash cans that have the ashtrays that ask people to please extinguish their butts as soon as they arrive on our campus. Ideally, we would like them to extinguish them, though, before they get here. And hoping that they're not going to be littering out there in the parking lot, so you guys have uh, provided these for them. This is all part of uh, being healthy and also just showing people a healthier lifestyle. Exactly. You know, as a hospital, we try to be a leader in the community with health care, of course. And so this is a step that we've been working on for quite a while. Dr. Lopez, who is one of our hospitalists here, he was the big advocate for this, so he's the driving force behind this. He really wanted to make sure that our patients and our visitors got the best treatment that they could have and that they recover as best as they can and then of course for anybody who comes we want the cleanest air to aid in that recovery and if people need help in stopping smoking there are all sorts of resources that we have here today. We have the American Lung Association, of course the hospital has a booth set up, the American Cancer Society and the Nye Communities Coalition are here today until 2. And then we also, of course, will have information for people. We recently ended a smoking cessation class that the coalition ran for us. We'll be holding another one in the future too. And for more information, they can give the hospital a phone call? They sure can. They can call our main number and ask to talk to me, Megan.